guys one more again one more time you know i'm still you know i'm hanging and swinging you know, I'm, I'm gonna do my thing so i'm gonna find figure out a way to do it some kind of way I, i'm gonna do it anyway i'm gonna get all into that hey, it's late i don't care uh it's about 11 it's almost 12 midnight here it's central standard time here in arkansas cab to cash with dj from cash for hustles radio also, cash for list builders coming at, come back at you guys with the 30 day video challenge, day 24, wink, wink, quote unquote, or, you know, sign, day 24. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be a little quick one. Um, tomorrow, of course, I'll go much more in depth and get, you know, neck deep or whatever. Uh, tonight, not going to do that. I'm just doing, I'm, I am going to fulfill, you know, my, you know, things or whatever on the challenge my commitments whatever you want to call that but yeah this is just talking about uh being on stage I mean, now, my, now my stuff is not keyword driven a lot of it isn't some of it is if it's you know but a lot of it isn't just keyword driven it's just there's just some stuff i'm saying or thinking or doing or whatever it's just me being me other times just specifically focused and keyword focused and this and that right now and yeah, whatever so, so a lot of my stuff won't make sense unless you know me or you get into my world. But anyway, uh, being on stage, it just it was just uh, 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 it was just uh, I, I went to the, the chosen few concert uh, or take a uh, rather festival, music festival, a DJ festival. You know my DJ thing, the house music thing, in Chicago a couple of years back, and it was great. Enjoyed it. Had a ball. Thousands of people there, thirty, forty, fifty thousand people there, and and, and I wrote in, in my Evernote. You know, because I had a moment of not a moment of clarity. I was I had I had I had some thoughts. I guess some philosophical thoughts. I was not philosophical, but I was thinking some things, and I wanted to remembered these things that I was thinking at that particular time. So I wrote a note on it. It's talking about the whole chosen few online marketing being on stage thing. It may not be a connection there, but there is a connection there. The way I was looking at it, the way I'm the way I'm putting it or using it. And I was looking at the whole stage thing and I was out there in the audience among thousands of people enjoying the show, clapping, singing, dancing, doing whatever you do at a, at a concert or festival or whatever. You know, thousands of people were all having a ball there. But I'm looking at this thing. I'm like, wow, in the back of my mind, I'm like, wow, you know, they set this thing up. All the work that went into it, all the behind the scenes stuff that went into this. This is an event. There's people performing, there's people on stage, there's promotion, there's parking, there's security, there's all types of things going on. There's vendors, there's all types of things going on. There's the performers, there's the promoters, and there's a lot going on. And there's only a few people up there on the stage, maybe five, ten, however many people, 25, that many people on stage. And there are thousands. The audience out here is like a faceless audience, a mass uh, you know, it's a big audience out here, thousands and thousands and thousands. I'm like, what did you have to do to, to, to put something on this on successfully and to do this and all of that? And um, it just uh, it just dawned on me. I'm go back and read some of the notes or paraphrase on it. Being on stage, being backstage, being behind the scenes, it's a totally different dynamic on both sides. Where you're on the side performing or you're putting on the show, where you're out in the audience. Uh, being in front of the audience, being in front of a small crowd, the work it takes, the preparation it takes to successfully host one, to promote an event and establish anything in public. Someone has to be the provider. And the provider is something that's a concept that I get into pretty deep. I'm not doing it here, but it's one of my CFH concepts I get into about being the provider. It's a totally different mindset <clears throat> concept from that perspective. But anyway, I'm just mentioning it here. I'll, I'll go into it, you know, in some other you know, episode or whatever, but someone has to be the provider. Someone has to be the performer. Someone has to be the promoter, the presenter, just like I just mentioned, the same thing applies. I can compare it with online marketing, but it can be paired with anything in business, entrepreneurship, or anything that you want to do, especially an event or a goal or whatever you in business, doing business dealings with the public, even just a merchant, you're doing with the general public. You are a provider just like that concert. Like the local store, the local barbershop, the local beautician, the liquor store, whatever. Um, each small business, just like the multi-billion dollar corporations and, the, and all those things are providers. They may not be like Apple or Walmart, <clears throat> but for their corner or their town or whatever, their, <coughs> excuse me, their community or whatever. <coughs> oh, I've got the coughs. <clears throat> they are a provider. <clears throat> 
And to do that, you kind of have to somewhat be willing to have some position of leadership, a little bit of independence. Dependence is good, too. But the power of leadership and independence means you don't have to wait on someone else to give you a job or to lead you somewhere. You make and create your own, you know, your own moves. Uh, it's kind of the concept of self-employment, but you're getting out there. But I want to go into self-employment. Uh, yeah, go into self-employment a little bit. But anyway, uh, as far as an event or a goal, there may be some delays, there may be some glitches, there may be some resistances. It does not matter. Once you put your mind to it, it is a done deal. Uh, I'll go back to my 18 analogies. It's one of my CFH concepts also. I got a lot of different core foundational concepts, the 18 analogies. I'm going to have to go into those in depth. <clears throat> I haven't done that on here. I haven't really done it on the radio. I haven't done it anywhere except for my notes. But I have something called the 18 analogies, and it's a lot to that. But uh, the, what they do is they help you, they, they give you examples of different ways to do things in different fields, industries, settings, whatever, just 18 examples. But anyway, I'll have to go into that another time. <coughs> Excuse me. But anyway, you're on stage. That's just a performer who's on stage. You build your own stage or whatever. And you may even be a star. You might be a celebrity. You may be a star or possibly you are a star maker because you don't have to be on stage performing singing and dancing you can be a star maker now is there any ego in that here's here here's the kicker yes there can be ego there sometimes there is but it does not have to be about ego a lot of people who are big time stars and celebrities do not have that ego some do uh, let me see, I have some personal stuff here, whatever. Yeah, so it, with, with the, the thing about performing on stage or even being treated like a star or getting the attention that a star gets or a celebrity gets, it's about being in public. It's not always about <clears throat> being a star or getting the star treatment. It's about serving the public or being in public. So if you are serving the public, <clears throat> If that's your viewpoint, that's your attitude, it's just a whole different way of looking at things. So when you're in business, it's the same thing. You're not on stage, but I'm using this stage analogy. As a matter of fact, this is one of the analogies. Not stage, but entertainment, whatever, whatever. As a, uh, you know, as a business owner or merchant or whatever, you're providing some type of value serving the public. You're providing value to the marketplace. You are a leader. You are stepping out as a leader in your community, in your block, for your business, for your industry, whatever, you know, um, out in the public eye, on the public stage for the general public's consumption. And so you are a star attraction in that way. Of course, you don't have to have the attitude of, of a star. If you want to do that, go, you know, fine, wouldn't suggest it, but that's another story. So you don't want necessarily attention or definitely not personal attention. You want to provide value in order to do that. You're going to need publicity. We're talking about the stage thing. Publicity means you need to be on the public stage in order to attract and keep customers and clients, members, subscribers, whatever, fans, friends, followers, whatever. The public stage. So what do you got to do? You got to get up there. Get out there on that public stage as a leader or as a performer or maybe a star maker. You don't want to get on there and tap dance and sing? Hire a performer on entertainment or, you know, talent. Manage the entertainment or have a manager to manage the talent or, or the entertainment or whatever. Getting out on stage. Now, this is the stuff that I wrote a couple years back after going to the Chosen Few concert. And I guess I was just thinking as I'm looking at all this stuff and I was in marveling and amazement and just wow in my mind. You know, I do a lot of stuff like that. I'll think about something and I want to <clears throat> record that, capture that, write it down, document it, notate it, whatever. But anyway, yeah, that and I got another thing about the stage thing, but I, I have to it gets a little longer. This is the end of that particular note. Um but uh yeah, the LME thing. I had mentioned LME before, but I didn't go into detail on it. LME, it just simply means the last minute effect. And without going into, you know, belaboring it, <clears throat> I want to make this quick and be out. Uh, the last minute effect is basically, how do you explain it? It's when you're doing something and you can't get it going or whatever. 
you're doing it, you're doing it, you're doing it, and it doesn't get going, or if it does get going, it's real slow, blah, 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 all this type of stuff. And some kind of way, especially there's a deadline, in some kind of way, kind of towards the last minute or the tail end of that, you finally, <clears throat> you finally get it done. And that when that becomes a pattern, you know, or when it appears to uh, present itself as being a pattern, it I call that the law of the last minute effect, because it's not something that just occasionally happened. Or I didn't do this. I didn't prepare. I didn't do this. I didn't do that. No, it just it's always something because a lot of the times it's external. Sometimes it's internal, but a lot of the times it's external. And I, I mentioned LME when I was talking about those, um, I think it was the, the five laws or the three laws of um, resistance, <clears throat> of delay and resistance. And it had that LOG in there, LME, LOZZ, all of those. I haven't gone deep into those. And it, 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 it dovetailed with LDP, which is laziness, distraction, and procrastination. And then the other one was titties, which is temptation, uh, interruptions, delayed distraction, Forgive the redundancy, just, just, oh, just, you know, ignore the redundancy, uh, emotion and energy. All of these things are pretty much your enemies, your oppositional opposing forces, resistances and enemies. And these are usually the forms that they'll take. And I'm not going deep into that, but I'm mentioning LME, <coughs> excuse me, because of the challenge thing. Um, you know, the whole, <coughs> excuse me, the whole challenge thing, LME is, a. Uh, <coughs> the last minute effect get the thing done it's just like with the raggedy success thing and i forget what the other uh lme i forget what the other thing that i put on there. i don't have a note i just kind of threw it on there it was lme it was uh the stage thing and i forget what the other thing what the other title of this thing is that i was going to throw in i should have wrote it down or whatever i'll come back i'll come back and get to it whatever it was i don't even remember what it was but anyway lme is the th you know that's one of those laws it's just one of the things that come up to stop you and sometimes if it doesn't stop you it's meant to delay you remember the laws of delay and resistance but yeah i'm, I'm gonna let it go right there uh i can't even remember what it was i was gonna talk about whatever but when you guys go through your challenges and someday you will many of you already have in different areas or whatever or whatever you know I'm, you know but you, you will go through them. Maybe not in this format. Maybe not in the format I'm talking about, the 30-day challenge. But in some capacity, you'll probably go through that if you haven't already. And if, and most of us have in some capacity. We just have to think back and see how we've been through this before in some way. And if we're living life and growing, we can go through them again. But anyway, yeah, I'm just going to leave it right there. But hey, yeah, this is Kev the Casual DJ. I want to let you guys know, like I said, I got some stuff coming this week. <clears throat> We're going to be preparing for the registration for the students and all that type of stuff for next week, which will be Monday. So we're going to spend all week getting prepared for that, uh, getting the students ready, getting everybody signed up, getting everything ready for the classes and stuff. The TDCF, which is the 10 days of cash flow classes, uh, kind of like a little 10 day challenge thing going in there and a whole bunch of other stuff going with it. So. We're going to be starting all that next Monday, or we're going to be getting ready this week. I, I, this weekend has been so horribly hectic with me. I don't want to go into that. Uh, but anyway, we made it this far, man. You guys, when you're going through your challenges, man, you know, look back on moments like this. But anyway, that's it. I'm out. It's Kev the Castro DJ coming back at you guys for the uh, day 24. Tomorrow is day 25, and we're going we're gonna to go down the stretch and knock this thing out the park. So I'm out. Peace, holla. Thanks for checking me out. I'll get with you guys later. It's Kev, the Cashflow DJ. I'm out. Cashflow Hustles.